Hello everyone, this is Anton and in today's video I want to get into the Python Scripter plugin. Now this plugin is actually something that's carrying over from a previous video that I did where I was taking tasks from Obsidian and then creating tasks, having it create tasks in the Reminders app. I'm using this particular plugin to run Python scripts uh, within Obsidian and I think it's pretty useful if you're into Python and kind of extending Obsidian using Python. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to need to do is obviously go and up, uh, install the actual plugin. You can come in here and you can put Scripter and the plugin is already installed on my machine. It's enabled and if we go into the options there's only two options that you really need to come in here and worry about it's the path to where your scripts are and what I've seen is that this path uh, seems to need to be within this uh, dot obsidian folder somewhere um, I tried to do it within in my notes resources scripts folder and it did not work if I'm doing something wrong there, uh, maybe the, the plugin developer or someone else that knows how to get that working can let me know. But I'm using right now the default location for the scripts. And then you can either use the default executable for Python or change it to whatever you need to. Right now I'm changing mine to Python 3 because that's what I have set up on my machine. Now, with the, if you do change any of these settings and install this, it does say in the instructions that you will need to restart the application. So restart the application after you do the install and you should be all good. I already have a Python script sitting in the scripts folder. Again, this is within the hidden.obsidian scripts Python folder. When you install the plugin, the scripts and Python folders are created by default, or at least they were in my case. So all you need to do is just come in here, put in your Python script. And this particular Python script, as I mentioned before, I will not go into depth on it in this video, but I will do it in another video where I really want to focus on the bigger picture. But I, instead of creating tasks in the Apple Reminders app, I'm actually doing that in ClickUp now. So let's go ahead and see how it works. It works may, basically the same as what it did in the previous video, but if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to go ahead and walk through it real quick. So when I'm in Obsidian and part of my workflow is if I am um, just something top of the mind, I have any different tasks that I want to do. Let's just do task one and we'll do task two and task three these are going to be my my top tasks that i need to get done for today and let's say that i need to schedule these for a particular time and i need to set a reminder for me to do this so instead of just leaving it here as a checklist type item where i just check it off i will more than likely go ahead and schedule it or if it's for a different day if I add any task in here and I'm not going to do it today, then I want to also again move that to my task manager. So what I do is I have the hashtag task that I would put on the actual task that I want to have migrated. And once this is done, what would happen is I would run that script. In my case, the script is also scheduled for every fifth minute uh, within the hour. So um, let me see, whatever hour, 105, 110, 115, et cetera, the script will, want, will run for me and it will do this automatically. So that that is helpful when I'm remote, you know, maybe I'm doing this on my phone or, or a tablet and I, jot down some of these tasks, it will automatically schedule those in my task app as well using this particular machine as the base. Now if I want to do that manually though and I don't want to wait for that that five minutes to be up, 
what I can do is come in here I hit P to open up the command and then I can run this right away using the Python scripter I'll go ahead and run it here it will run in the background it'll spit out um, uh, information here and you can see here that it actually ran it scheduled these here and if we were to go to click up we'll go to the inbox here and we can see that these tasks have been created here and they're set up by default within the script that I have as normal now as I mentioned I won't go into depth on the actual script itself but that will be something for a later video what I really wanted to highlight is the functionality of this Python scripter plugin where you from your obsidian uh, desktop application you can easily come in here hit command P and bring up the the actual command bar and type in Python and any scripts that you have within that directory will show up here and then you can execute them and this plugin really makes it simple to do that now that is really it for this particular video the plugin is simple straightforward you saw the install was pretty easy so there's nothing else you really need to do except have the use case and then have the python scripts that you want to run within obsidian if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day